a bridge with a cross body um, connection, so a knee press in the front, so that we are gonna connect this anterior oblique sling of muscles here. So we're getting these obliques with the opposite inner thigh. Um, can be really good for reconnecting with your core. So we're working glutes here because you are gonna hold a bridge, so I want you to kind of set yourself up here. Good inhale through your nose, 360 degrees expansion through the rib cage. Exhale through your mouth. Think of engaging that deep core, pelvic floor lifts, lower belly flattens, rib cage comes down as you lift up. And then here you are going to, on your exhale, um, march that opposite knee and then press with the opposite arm. So inhale, on your exhale through your mouth, press here. So we're getting these obliques engaged here and then you're getting a little bit of inner thigh here too by pressing on the inside of that knee. Coming down, inhale, Exhale, opposite, opposite arm, opposite knee here, marching and pressing. Hold for a pause, inhale on the way down. Exhale, press. You should feel your abs working here to stabilize your glute of the leg that's down. Focusing on those good deep inhales. Exhale on a heel here. Your exhale, that's gonna help engage the core better. Get that deep core system firing here. And again, we wanna make sure you're not shifting too much in your pelvis. So if you're not able to do this uh, without that hip dropping or shifting too much, then it might be too difficult. Maybe you start with just a little march, and then as you get better, then you can come all the way up into that knee press. Or maybe you need to come down um, here without the bridge, and you can do the knee press this way. So you can do an inhale, exhale, just march that knee, make sure you're exhaling all the air out from the bottom up and then just press there. So this can be a good regression um, or modification if holding the bridge with the knee press is too much and you're not able to keep good form. So if you start to feel it in your low back um, or just feel like you're not, you don't have control over your pelvis, stick with um, having your back on the ground and with every exhale marching and pressing that way. Then once you master that, then maybe try coming up into the bridge and trying that again too. Okay, alternating sides, making sure you're getting that good deep 360 inhale and on your exhale, exhaling all the air out from the bottom up um, using that purse flip breathing or you can also play around and try the s or ha breath. Um, all of those should kind of help you kick on that core a little bit more in this exercise.